The warm-up takes a detour through Ohio Northern as we meet with the Van Buren Black Knights football team as they have an interesting way to start two days with camp here at ONU. I'm joined by Drayton Fazzoni down at the end, Cole Martin in the middle, and Lucas Hubert to my left. Lucas, been a fun kind of two days here doing football, but also some other activities? Uh, yeah, we're supposed to have a pool party. It's going to be a workout type thing, but they're calling it a pool party to make kids think it's going to be fun, but it's actually probably going to be pretty brutal. And uh, just some other small activities we're going to be doing with the underclassmen. All right. How's it gone so far for you? Uh, it's gone really, really well. We have a good energy this year. And going off of what Lucas said, some of the activities we're doing, I know tomorrow we have a wiffle ball contest in between. We split the team up into an orange team and a black team. Okay. So we're going to have some inner squad competition. Is it like upperclassmen against the lower class? No, we or? mix up the teams pretty even. Okay. We try to split the seniors evenly between everybody. Drayton, kind of a different way to start, almost a college approach to it. How have you felt about it so far? Uh, I really like it because, I don't know, it just seems like when everyone stays together, we, I don't know, I think we get closer and it's cool just hanging out with everybody and different activities like we talk about wiffle ball and all that stuff where you can't really do that if you're not staying together all the time. Having some good food out here? Any, any? Yeah, really good food, actually. Okay, yeah. so you're enjoying that? You're surprised, Drake. Yeah, good food. All right. Uh, Lucas, your, your hair is a different color than the normal. What's the deal? Why aren't these guys all blonde? Um, well, I've been doing it for the past three years because our head coach doesn't really enjoy the bleach blonde hair. But this year, I tended to recruit some other people. So we should be doing it tonight after we uh, get done doing some other So activities. everyone? Most, probably about 90% of the team are going to have bleach blonde hair this year. Both of you guys? I'm, I'm not allowed. Uh, he, he's not allowed. They won't actually. let me. I wasn't either in high his, school. His hair is so they, luxurious and it's just so nice. Luxurious. It. They, they yeah, won't let me do it. It's so fancy. I don't yeah. even know how to explain it. It's just the thing I got going, I what, guess. What if you guys go 10-0 and 0 and win the state championship? Will you do it then? Yeah, I'll do it. There you go. I'll do it then. Right. You, got, you got a goal for, a for goal. Van Buren. <laughs> Speaking of the 10-0 <laughs> is a goal anyway. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, excited to start the season. Uh, First, Ottawa Hills, and then you got Bluffton, Macomb, Arlington. So, right, those first four games, you guys are going to know where you stand. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a pretty tough schedule. Uh, definitely set up for a nice playoff showing, though. Like, we win games, we're going to go to the playoffs. Where in previous years, it's been we could go 8-2, and 9-1, and one, and still maybe not go to the playoffs. So, I'm very excited, and I'm pretty sure everyone else is about our schedule. All right, should be a good year for Van Buren. When we return, we'll talk with more of the Black Knights here at Ohio Northern University on WSN. Second time around with Van Buren here at Ohio Northern, part of their camp away from Hancock County. I'm joined by Drew Connor to my left, Isaac Sexton, the wrestler in the middle, and Grant Wagner, left guard. Are you a wrestler too, Grant? Nope. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't leaving anybody out. Drew? Yeah. Okay, good. Isaac, let's start with the wrestler. You know, football, wrestling, they kind of go hand in hand at times. How are you feeling in football season? Uh, yeah, definitely wrestling really helps come around. I've been wrestling East Toledo a little bit over the summer, trying to get in shape for... Uh, this football season, so it definitely helps. Flexibility, conditioning, everything really. And it sounds like you already have a knockout. Uh, one of your teammates here earlier today, just part of yeah. that wrestling angst came out there? Yeah, some, it, well, it wasn't my real fault, but some kid, we were doing our derbies, and um, some kid, he was doing, he was my partner, Sammy Phillips. He was uh, doing sit ups, and then someone stepped on his head, and you got a big old gash right here. He just stepped but, on his head, no big yeah, deal. No big deal, really. Is that right, though? What is the derby? Take us through that. Oh, a derby is like our conditioning, and it consists of line jumps, push ups, bear crawls, uh, sit ups, squat thrusts, dips, and then that's one lap, and we go through that three times. So it's everybody's favorite part of the day, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> How are things coming together for the line, would you say? Oh, it's, it's exciting. It's a younger group, but good time to learn and uh, exciting. Drew, what would you say the strength of this team is? You know, we're only a few days in, but as you look at the Van Buren football team, what, what's the strength? Uh, strength of this team would probably be how closely knit we are and how much of a family like we are. Um, uh, I will tell you that every one of these guys is my brothers, and I would do anything for them. So I think that's the strength. I would think an ac activity like this, you, you know, you have their midnight madness that you've done the past few years. Does that really help bring you guys together? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's I mean it's something unique to the area as far as I know at least and uh, Coach Shop does a great job with that and 
organizing it and everything. So, yeah, we have a great time. Who's Van Buren's rival? Oh, traditionally Liberty Benton. Okay. That's our rival. Is that what you guys would agree, Liberty Benton? That's uh, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say every team we played that week, yeah. you know. Whatever week it is. Really. Do you want to be a coach? Because that's a great coach answer. <laughs> Whoever's next on the schedule. We had one team say whatever scrimmage is next. They're looking forward to the scrimmage. But you guys, week one, that's it's kind of Ottawa Hills. That's on the schedule. Week one. All right. Okay. We'll talk with the head coach to see what his coach answer is when we return from Ohio Northern with the Van Buren Black Knights. And Third down of the warm-up here at ONU, talking with Van Buren head coach Kevin Schaup in your fifth year, and you've got your team here watching on as, as I talk to you, and this has been a fun experience here at ONU so far, hasn't it? Yeah, we're having a great time. Uh, it's been pretty action-packed and kind of chaotic getting here yesterday evening, and we've been busy ever since, uh, and pretty much will be for the next two days, but uh, it's a good, a good environment and good uh, atmosphere for these guys. Um, can already see the camaraderie starting to build and the leadership starting to develop. You know, a lot of that off the field stuff we're able to develop with things like this. You started at midnight last night. Is there a certain energy knowing that it's midnight and like you're not really supposed to be practicing football now, but you are to get the season started? Do you notice that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when we finish up practice, you know, it's well after two o'clock in the morning. Uh, and I start mentioning we're heading to bed and no one, no one really feels like going to bed because we're much coming off the field. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but we wind down pretty well, and uh, knowing that we got an action-packed week ahead, uh, things typically go pretty well. You make them do derbies at 2 in the morning? Uh, we actually did them at 11.30 last night prior to taking the field. So, uh, yeah, it got us rolling, got us off on the right foot. We did them outside, so it was dark and nice and cool. So, again, a good way to start the season. Before we get to this year's team, how did this come about here at ONU? And I know you, did you, did you attend here yourself? Yes, I am an alum of uh, Ohio Northern. Um, I've been considering doing something like this, but uh, we've kind of done our own thing at Van Buren where we camp out in the gym and stuff uh, for the past few years. And I got a great group of seniors this year, um, a group that I knew could handle it. You know, any question marks as far as leadership and, and doing the right thing and, and just a trust factor. Uh, I knew they could handle it. So great opportunity for us. Uh, a couple of the coaches that I played for are still here. Um, head coach Dean Paul, you know, I played for him for a couple years. So still a good relationship with him. Um, and they've been very uh, accommodating to everything we need. So it's kind of cool for me to come back, but more importantly, the kids are having a great time. You know, I think it's a perfect distance from home. Uh, get away a little bit, but we're still fairly close. Looking back on 2013 now, four and six record, how do you assess that season when and, and what can you build upon? Uh, a little disappointed with the, with the record itself. Uh, we overcame a, a lot of adversity uh, with some injuries and things. Um, you know, just kept trying to push through regardless of what was thrown at us throughout the season. Uh, some of the young guys ended up getting some experience due to those injuries, uh, which bodes well for this upcoming season. Um, and some of the guys who didn't get to play very much last year due to a shortened season uh, with injuries and such, uh, I know they're coming back hungry and they were pretty determined throughout the off season. So. Some goals that were uh, not met and uh, kind of a dissatisfied feeling coming out of last season um, kind of did a lot of good for us, I think, in the off season, um, just being determined and continuing to work and push for the goals that we all have and we're hoping to reach this year. Is one of those goals uh, over 500? That's something that hasn't been done in Van Buren since 1996. That's got to be the first major step you're taking. Obviously, playoffs and all that, but I think it starts with maybe getting over 500. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, our, our schedule's a little bit tougher this year, but we think that that's a good thing. Um, we're really excited about the opportunity to play week 11. Um, and they know they got to work and they know they got to earn it and they got to win one game at a time, um, as any coach would say. Um, but for the first time in a long time, we've been talking about the possibility of week 11. Um, and, you know, we're going to win every week uh, in, in, a, in an attempt to do so. So. The senior class, you talked about it a little. What are some examples that you've seen even here at ONU of these guys leading the younger guys and really setting a good example early on? Well, those derbies the guys mentioned, you know, our seniors do a good job of leading the younger guys through that. Uh, I have a little buddy program set up where my seniors are paired up with freshmen. Uh, a couple of little events throughout the off season, but they're also rooming together while we're here. And they started out doing the derbies with each other last night. So just making those freshmen feel welcome and, and let them know that they're going to feel sore. Uh, they're going to screw up on some plays. Coach might yell at them on occasion, but you know we're all in this together. And uh, the, the seniors really taking those younger guys under their wing really means a lot. I see guys sitting in their dorm rooms going through playbooks together and organized 
uh, player meetings this morning with upperclassmen and underclassmen. So they do a good job of uh, taking advantage of those opportunities to, to lead and be mentors to the younger guys. And that's something that you've been working with them throughout the summer as well, right? Have you put together some leadership workshops for the seniors? Uh, yeah, well, in the spring, I do a leadership council where I meet with my seniors uh, for about nine or ten weeks. We'll meet in the morning before school for about a half hour. I actually had Andy Lynch come yeah, and Andy talk mentioned he was there. Uh, one morning. He did a great job. Uh, again, just getting the guys to think about some things and kind of challenge them and really understand what it is uh, to be a leader uh, and to be someone that people look up to even if they don't realize it. Uh, you know, I have them help with my youth camp in the middle of the summer. And I don't. I think they end up having a good time, but I don't think they realize how important that is to the younger younger kids right, they to really be out there with the them. high school football players. So, one of these days, hopefully, they'll realize how impactful that is. Uh, but I just always try to put them in positions to where they can uh, take on that challenge, I guess, uh, and continue to become more and more comfortable with it. Looking at the BBC now, three and five in conference last year. Three new teams: Hopewell, Loudon, Riverdale, and North Baltimore. Where do you guys see yourself fitting into this conference, this expanded conference? Uh, we hope to compete uh, for a championship, a BBC championship. Um, you know, the, the, the change in the league itself and bringing on the new teams was a necessity for us, being that we were one of the bigger schools. Uh, and, you know, as some of my players mentioned, it was tough. You know, we could have one or two losses and, and possibly not make the playoffs. So, you know, bringing in a couple of those bigger, uh, other bigger schools, such as Hopewell Loudon, um, et cetera, really help us kind of boost our schedule, opened up some flexibility with non-league opponents, um, so we could play some schools a little more similar to size. A couple of scrimmages, one against St. John's and then at Riverdale leading up to week one at Ottawa Hills. What's, what's the thing that you guys need to improve upon most and maybe through those scrimmages leading up to week one? Well, as, as any small, football, a small school football coach would say, we definitely need to work on our depth. Um, so preparing that second group and getting them competitive and, and preparing for anything that might come our way you know, to our first group. Um, and we still have some competition at the first group as, as well. We've had more, we have more speed than we ever have at the skill positions. So a lot of competition at wide receivers and DBs. Uh, just the depth is outstanding, um, but we're thin up front. So got to stay healthy and got to prepare you know, anybody who might need, we might need to lean on on a Friday night. So. Andy asked some of the guys, your rival in the BBC, what, who would you say? Uh, probably Liberty Benton. Uh, we've had some really good games the last couple years with Lipsick. Uh, so that's definitely a, a game on the schedule where I would really like to come out on top this year. Uh, I feel like we battled pretty well with them the last couple years uh, and, and took in defeats in, in, in both. So that's one I'd really like to win. I don't know that I'd call him a rival, but um, as any coach would say, we got to win the first one first. So. Well, thank you so much for your time, Coach Kevin Schaup. Liberty Benton and Lipsick on the schedule for Van Buren. It'll be at Lipsick week seven, at Liberty Benton week eight. We'd like to thank all of our guests here on the warm up. For Andy Lynch, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time. <laughs>